um, a week left before you guys break camp. What has struck you about this team with, with six weeks of spring training under your belt? Wow. Well, um, a couple things. I think I've hit on it before in the interviews. Um, the depth we have on this team, um, up and down through our rot rotation, um, our relievers, um, even our lineup. You know, we got five or six outfielders, quite a few infielders, all guys that, you know, should be, you know, caliber of, you know, starting somewhere, starting on this team, starting, you know, on 29 other teams. And, um, you know, that's, that's what you want, you know, especially going into camp and fighting through spring training. You want that competitive atmosphere of, you know, guys fighting for jobs. So it's, uh, you know, the depth of this team and, you know, guys just coming ready to, ready to go from the jump. You know, that's one thing too, you know, with, uh, you know, uncertainty of last year with the season and everything. And then coming this year, if it was going to be the same thing, are we going to start on time? Are they pushing it back a month? Man, guys, you know, came into camp in shape, you know, ready to go and, you know, ready to compete from day one. Uh, Glaber was in uh, a while ago talking about his relationship with DJ LeMahieu and, and how that, that's grown and, and, and uh, benefited him. And I was just wondering, what have you seen of, of Glaber the last few years? Has, has he grown as a more inquisitive player? a guy seeking advice and, and being open to suggestions about his game. Yeah, Pete, that's one thing I actually noticed early on in Glaber's career, even in uh, 2018, you know, as a rookie coming up, you know, we were, this might've been a month into the season, we were playing in Houston and he was kind of asking me about, you know, hey, how do you, you know, how do you sit, how do you hit the breaking pitch? You know, how do you drive that? You know, I feel like I get ready, I get loaded up and, you know, I just can't pull the trigger. And I said, man, like you got, you know, you got the swing, you got everything you do to swing the bat. And, you know, he ended up later that game in the eighth inning, you know, sitting back on a breaking pitch and driving it to left field and scoring us some big runs, you know. So he's a guy that, you know, he wants to learn. He wants to improve. He's not satisfied where he's at, you know, even as a rookie. You know, he just got called up. And, you know, I've been in that position. You know, get called up as a rookie, man. You think you made it and you think this is it. But, you know, from day one, he's a guy that's continued to push himself. You know, he continues to push the guys around him. And it's been, it's been pretty cool seeing the relationship between him and DJ, you know, continue to grow. Um, they're playing, you know, every single game together. They're up the middle together. They're getting that chemistry that you need, you know, to have a good, you know, strong, you know, defense up the middle. So it's uh, uh, it's been fun to watch. Aaron, with the uh, season just 10 days away, how driven are you overall to win a title? And how do the past postseason disappointments fuel your fire? Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> Bruce, I'm as fired up as ever you know every year I know I say come in here and you know say that's our goal to win a championship but uh you know for us you know the first thing to do is we got to win our division you know that starts with game one you know and uh starts with game one you know we're gonna have a tough opponent with Toronto at home but you know we got we got to knock off the Rays first you know that's a team that won the division last year got all the way to the World Series you know beat us in the division series um you know so that's our first first goal that's the first goal for me is you know to continue to let guys know that hey you know, we're playing even though we're playing 162 games, it's not a sprint like it was last year. Every game still matters because I know every year, you know, it starts coming down to the end of September, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's a couple games from either a wild card or you win your division, and we don't want to be in that predicament. You know, we want to go out there and you know win our division and put ourselves in a good position in the postseason. You know, with this depth, with the pitching we have, um, with this lineup, you know, to put us in the you know the right position to go out there and win a championship. Aaron, it seems uh, each of the last you know, three, four years here, the depth of your lineup has been tested by injuries. Uh, as you're getting ready to start this season, have you guys started to talk about the idea of of what, you know, really what kind of maybe what a first inning looks like against a starting pitcher and what you guys can do? I mean, we spent so much time talking to, about you and Giancarlo and how teams approach you guys, but you haven't been able to be in the lineup together a whole lot. Have you, have you guys started to talk about the idea of, of getting off to a good start with a healthy lineup? Yeah, and I've, we've kind of, you guys have kind of seen it all spring training. You know, that's one thing with this lineup. You know, you got from the very first pitch, you know, you got DJ LeMayhew, an MVP, MVP um, type player, you know, leading off the game who's, he can work the count or he can jump you first pitch and hit a homer. He can get on base, um, you know, and then, you know, kind of going through the lineup and especially having Hicks bat in third for us, you know, a guy that can get on base, you know, has, can hit for power, you know, he's, you know, he just keeps that for me, you know, he turns that lineup over, you know, to get, you know, if he walks, you know, if me and DJ get out to start off the game and all of a sudden, you know, Hicks get up, gets up, gets a walk, and then Big G comes up and hits a homer, man, it's two runs, you know, in the first, and, you know, we're halfway through the lineup, you know, so it's something with this lineup that, you know, there, there's no rest, there's no break, 
you know, all the way down. You know, if you got Gary Sanchez or Clint Frazier batting, you know, seven, eight, nine, you know, that's uh, that's a scary thought right there. So, you know, we're looking forward to, you know, keeping everybody healthy and uh, seeing what this lineup can actually do. The way teams' bullpens are constructed now, it seems getting a starter out after four or five innings isn't necessarily the same advantage that it used to be. But is a first inning maybe, uh, you know, trying to get him out after two or three, is that kind of more the goal now and, and the way your lineup is constructed with the patience that you're talking about? Yeah, you know, I've always been, you know, about trying to get that starter out because it's not really about the game, you know, tonight. You know, it's kind of about the whole year. You know, if we're playing the Rays, you know, Blue Jays, and if we're able to get to those starters early and say we got a four-game series against these guys, uh, you know, that third and fourth day, you know, that bullpen's going to be kind of wearing it. If we're able to get to the starter and kind of have them use their big guns, you know, out of the pen early, you know, it's going to kind of help us down the road. You know, so that's all I've always looked at is, you know, a lot of these teams around the league have, you know, some pretty – some pretty good bullpen arms coming out of there, you know, throwing, you know, 100 miles an hour, some great breaking pitches. But, you know, if we can just wear those guys down, you know, and over the course of a season, 162 games, that's going to, you know, help us in the end.